see. To deal with vampires, you can cut off the head, put a stake in their heart, and, uh... What am I forgetting?
This is a magnificent castle. It is a shame its denizens have surrendered themselves to evil.
burden is already too much. You took your time catching up to me, Overlander. I was growing impatient. Oh, yes. I've known you were here in my castle for some time. I allowed you to live until this moment in the hopes that you would follow Pelis and wound his pride further. But you have chosen to inconvenience me instead. Let us have a look at you. Hmm. 
After what Pallas told me of you, I expected something more. Hmm, you reek of the overworld, of sweat. Hardly a meal to quench my appetite. But fortunately, this castle is filled with those with duller palates, whose tastes are not as refined as mine. I think they will appreciate the sport in a meal that still has some fight in it. Vampires. I never thought I'd see them on the very
My burden is already too much.
My burden is already too much. By your presence here, I assume you have slain the Nosferatu. A pity. But such beasts are replaceable. After such a battle, you should have blessed your good fortune and fled. while well, you had the chance. But here you are, pushing your luck too far. Very well. Let us end this indignity. <laughs> You should be honored, Overlander. You are the first in a century to stand defiant in the presence of the Lord of Vampires. I think it is best we savor this moment.
you can't best me? I am Vanrost, Lord of Vampires. I have watched centuries die. Not even the sun can slay me. I have slaughtered armies with my bare hands, fed on the bloodlines of kings, drained countless races into extinction, and I will drain countless more until all Norath is drained of blood. And I will make sure you are there to see it. I will see your corpse march into battle with my legions of the undead. I will see you <laughs> dead. Betrayed. A life for a life, overworlder. Our blood debts are even. Here is the key. You may now escape, but you must hurry, for Vanerost only slumbers. Flee Black Delve Reach and do not return. From now on, both of our lives are marked. You've got it! All oh, right! Uh, uh, please, let me out! Uh, uh, right, put the key in the lock. Oh, yeah, get me on a boat, and I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Blindfolded, hand tied behind my back, even.
She's all yours, then. Finest ship I ever built. Look her over, then load her up. Fabric Nern! Now, he's the best there is. <laughs> He'll see you to where you need to go or die trying. Best of luck, friends. Hope you know what you're doing. May the pit be kind to you. May the gods watch over you. Ah, best ship I ever built. As long as they don't hit any storms on their journey, they should be fine. A great wound on the face of Norad. The pit of ill omen was a mighty sea, imprisoned on all sides by towering cliffs. It was a hidden world containing grasslands, tropical islands, and even stretches of desert within its chaotic interior, all knotted together by mysterious ancient gates. Part of an old riddle that no explorer had yet been able to solve. Having barely survived the perilous journey into the pit, the wooden boat in urgent need of repair soon found itself in the prey of another force. Not long after their arrival, evil magic filled the sky of the pit and lightning lashed down from above. The tired vessel found it had nowhere to flee and the storms tore the ship apart. But there were survivors and that meant the battle for the Quite a beating. Almost thought that storm had killed you. <laughs> you got some courage to brave the waters around here. They don't call this the island of knives for nothing. Those waves out there can cut a ship to pieces. You're the only one I've seen crawl away from that ship of yours. Hope there wasn't no one but you aboard. If there was, well, I pity him. No one deserves to die on the bottom of the ocean floor no matter what they've done in their lives. I can guess why you're here. After that big orc, maybe, huh? Eh, eh. Him and his slavers been a terror on these islands for months, taking prisoners and carrying them up to Black Dell to get turned into the walking dead by some vampire or another. That orc's the one who sacked the village of Water's Edge on the western side of the island. Not a person left in it. They've all been carted away to Blackdale for the prisons here in the pit. That's why I've been hiding up here on this side of the island. Didn't want to get myself captured. <laughs> you. Looks like we're stuck together. There's no ships left around here. That orc must have figured you for dead when that storm hit your ship. I saw him heading south toward the caves on the other side of the island. There's one of those portals he uses to get around the pit located there. It shouldn't be guarded. I doubt they're expecting any trouble. Yeah, portals. Ancient things all over the pit. They connect all the islands and other places too. No one knows who built them or why, but the theory is there's some kind of crazy planar rope knot. You figure out the right path through them and they're supposed to lead to some great treasure. Maybe even the horn of ill omen. Now, wouldn't that be fine, hmm? The horn's the reason the town of Water's Edge was founded. People have been coming here looking for it for as long as I can remember. Hey, I even looked for the horn myself for a few seasons. And my father, for even longer than that. 
He taught me how to use the horn if it was ever found, but he never got his hands on it. Maybe it's better that way, considering the name it's got. Tell you what, if you happen to find that horn, bring it back, and I'll show you how to use it. The horn's supposed to have some kind of power over planar barriers. I might be able to use it to get you where you need to go. Even send you home if you want. Well, I bet some of the villagers might have some clues on where to find it. Maybe even crazy old Laszlo. <laughs> he was captured when the orc and his slavers hit Water's Edge. But I haven't seen him since. He might be on one of the other islands, still alive. But who knows? If so, you'd probably find them through one of the portals that connects the islands. This town looks to have suffered greatly from storms and the sea.
I did not think the pit of ill omen held such beautiful islands within its depths. Look out! It's a trap! God, you rescued me. Those slavers were using me as a pack mule to carry what was left of the town of Water's Edge over to their camp on a western island. Then suddenly, some orc pops through the portal and tells them to prepare an ambush for you. Guess they didn't prepare enough, huh? Right over there is the portal to the western island. Be careful, the orcs are as thick as flies there. They got my poor brother, Laszlo. They've driven him mad with torture trying to figure out the secret of these portals. Look, I know you've already saved my life today, but if there's any way you can rescue my brother Laszlo from those slavers, I'd be grateful. Pretty soon they're gonna realize he can't tell them anything they want to know. And they'll... Well, I'll never see him again. Meet me back at Water's Edge if you can. Depending on what I can salvage from the stolen goods here, I might be able to rebuild my shop, even restock it. If you need anything, come by and I'll give you what help I can.
Hey, you made it back. Any sign of Laszlo? I'm worried the Orcs may have killed him. I managed to repair my shop. If there's anything here that could help rescue Laszlo, please let me know.